What is up you guys, Illinois Outdoorsman, and we're gonna go do a little bit of fly fishing today. It's 44 degrees outside, so it's not bad. The wind is actually fairly calm for what it's been the last week or so. So we're gonna go try that orange fly I tied and a couple other flies I've tied. I've got a green one that I had a fish come at and snap my leader on, so I went and tied another one. Um, so we're gonna try that again, but we're gonna go See if we can get some bass on the fly. So stay tuned, you guys. All right, you guys. So I'm going to start out. I got my fly rod and everything back here. I'm going to get it all set together. Um, I've got a fly box. My wife got me a three pack for our anniversary, which is phenomenal. Holds a ton of flies, but these are giant streamers. So, if you guys have seen on my Instagram and my Facebook, I tied this little guy the other day. These are rooster tippet feathers, some chenille in here, and I got some squirrel hair in the top from one of them squirrels I got a couple weeks ago. And then the one I had out here the other day when I was just trying it out was one made like this. This is duck feather and some bucktail in here with some flash shaboo and some dubbing put in there. And I watched the fish eat this. As I went to set the hook, it clean snapped my leader, which I don't know how. It's a 12 pound fluorocarbon leader. I didn't set the hook. I didn't Mike Iconelli the hook. So it's not like I just ripped back like a like I would on a topwater frog. So. And I also have this whole box of these streamers that I have kind of created. Um, and I'll leave a link to it, you guys. If you guys, I am obviously tying flies, so. And I've found that it's actually quite enjoyable and relaxing therapeutic for me. So I have decided to, I'm going to start selling some of my flies as well. Um, I will leave a link at the end of this video to my, or I'll put it across the bottom, you guys can find it and I'll try and link it in the description a link to my Etsy shop so you guys can order flies um, and as I get more proficient and I get I got a whole order of materials coming <laughs> it's a lot um, I'll be putting more flies on there so we'll have more options right now I got four options on there and they got different color variations so yeah we're gonna go ahead and get my rod set up and I actually made a rod tube as well for my fly rod so I'm gonna get my rod set up and I'll see you guys out here at the water. Going at home, I finally found it, thought I lost it, and I forgot it. So I'm gonna have to pack it and keep it in the truck. But we are here at Walden Springs and we're going to be, this is where I caught that one, or had that one bite the other day. But we're gonna be trying to hopefully get a couple to bite. Um, don't know how well you guys can see it. Using a Martin Classic Fly. It's an eight foot, five, six weight rod with the reel that is kind of junk. There's no drag system to it anymore. It's failed. This rod is like eight years old now. <coughs> and I have some Hobbs Creek Bass Pro brand. Um, come out of there. Bass Pro brand, floating fly line. I think it's a six weight. And this little feller we've tied right here. So first off, let's sink. Yes, it does sink once it gets wet. That actually looks kind of crawdaddy. I might have done something right here, you guys. This is going to be good. It does sink. It is kind of nice and slow. So I do have you guys in the chesty mount, so you're going to have to deal with It is a quite a light fly, and I'm kind of trying to catch in the wind, so you guys will have to deal with a little bit of wind noise and a little bit of probably crazy camera as I'm casting. So, and I think my uh, my leader might be a little long here. I'm running like a six and a half foot leader, and I just for my leader I just use straight fluorocarbon. 12 pound strand or trilene or something like that, fluorocarbon. 
does have a little bit of weight so I can get it out there a little bit. And it does sink slow, so I'll let that sink a little bit. But yeah, I mean, it wasn't, I mean, it was that day, it was 80 degrees out, so probably the fish moving a little bit, but that's okay. that came out there we go, a decent cast it's amazing when you cast with the wind and sorry you guys I don't know which side my uh, microphone is on here on my filming with my phone but that's okay and they did just last week they stocked this with trout so I didn't even bother going to the boat ramp, which is where they do the stocking at. A couple of fish out here jumping. Get that out of the way. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but that definitely looks like a little crawdad going through the water. I might tie this. The way this looks, if I can find some bigger in this color, I may tie this as a like a four inch fly with a little bit of a weighted head to it. To... But we'll give this 10, 12 minutes, whatever. We'll give it a try, give it a shot. A couple of casts. Um, that green one, the other one I showed you guys, that was on my first cast. So. All right, you guys, so this is the one I tied the other day. I got a little bit of a excessive size loop in here for a loop knot but <clears throat> let me get it to where you guys can see it here there we go um got some duck plumage in here the chest feathers some white bucktail some olive a little bit of dubbing and some flash boo in here so get that back over and you guys this is once you get it wet it sinks beautifully and that duck feather and that flash taboo works wonders. So, the other day I did not have a loop knot in it, I just had a clinch knot in it. Um, so, we're gonna. Hopefully this will give it a little more action coming through the water. I'm still trying to just kind of figure out speed, how much it's going to sink. Oh, you guys, that is beautiful in the water. Let that sink for a minute. A little chilly out here. Your hands get uh, cold and wet, that's for sure. Or wet and cold. Especially when it's 40 degrees outside. Guys can see that right there. All right, you guys, we're gonna go get out of the wind. 
go try a different spot. See what else we can get. See if we can get anything, honestly. Outside of that one bite, which I'm super happy we got the one bite, but let's go see what else we can get. So I will see you guys at the next spot. So we're all at a different spot. If you can see way off in the distance down there is where we were. We're on the other end of the lake now. A lot calmer. Hi, little squirrel. If you weren't here, I'd be hunting you. Um, but I did check my fishing license as well, and I do, in fact, have an inland trout stamp. So, with that being said, if we do catch a trout, we can legally keep it. So, that's always a bonus. I've never actually caught a trout, so first time for everything. So we're gonna start off here again with this green one. And my casting range here is uh, slim to none, so there are trout hitting out here though. And I do have a smaller box of flies as well. officially caught my first bit of garbage on fly rod. This just is a kind of a crappy spot to try and cast. I'm wondering if that would probably squirrel. There are a lot of deer out here though. Just because you can't hunt out here so they all kind of Especially once deer season opens, you see a lot of them out here. They all just kind of congregate. Same thing there around the uh, power plant at the lake. Once deer season hits the first couple weeks, it gets a little hard hunting out there. Just the pressure and then... Time I twitch this, I can just see a little bit of flash. But it is hard to get a good back cast in here. I am not that good just yet. Definitely not left-handed. We may switch back to that orange one just because it is a little bit smaller, so. That and trout are predatory fish, so. I think we're gonna do that. We're gonna, first we're gonna move down here a little bit because it opens up and I might be able to just overhead cast instead of side arm it. to retire this one and put the orange one back on so give me just a minute you guys and let's get them swapped out all right you guys we are swapped back to this guy still wet it's gonna take a while to dry out just because it is a little cold out but that's okay we're out of the wind so i don't have to have my hood up Yeah. 
the overhand. I don't know, I don't like casting overhand fly rod. I don't know why. I guess it's just because I don't want to hook myself, which is fair enough. I've been hooked and hooked myself plenty in my life. So. That wasn't a bad left hand cast. And you guys, I do have some, my smaller flies with me as well. Um, I do know last year when they stocked us with trout, these guys were out here catching them on two and three inch minnows. So I don't think the size is gonna deter them. And apparently just forcing yourself to cast left-handed and oh there's a guy off at least get a little bit better at it pretty quick so that's always a good thing I think I'm growing a crowd too, I don't know. But they're just waiting on me. All right, so I knew I had a little bit of a crowd, which, yeah, it's understandable. A lot of people don't fly fish anymore. And it is kind of a dying art, but I feel like being an all-around fisherman, you've kind of got to have a handle on doing a lot of it. And honestly, in life, that is what I have found. I am not a professional of anything, but I am really good at a lot of things um fly fishing hopefully i'll be there one day <laughs> fly tying um in my career really i feel like i'm doing all right for being taught by several people and self-taught on some things and this fly tying is self-taught oh you guys check that out Oh, you guys, seriously? Whoa! Oh, that's awesome, you guys, look at that. Holy cow, you guys. Got my first trout. Oh, guys, look at that. That thing is, abs look at that, you guys. That thing is absolutely beautiful. That is my first ever trout. Oh, I, didn't, I did not bring a bucket. You guys, that is a phenomenal fish. Look at that, he's probably a foot long. We're gonna go ahead and, he's over a foot. We're gonna go ahead and, and we're gonna keep him, you guys. He hammered that thing too. That's awesome. 
So you guys, we are definitely going to be uh, doing a cook and clean. Look at that. Easy there, hot rod. Easy. They are definitely a slimier fish. That's for sure. Stay right there. Stay right there. Good job. Do you guys, that is phenomenal. That's my first fish even that I actually landed on one of my flies. So that's guys, that's awesome. That is freaking sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Um, I am going to go ahead and do some research here real quick. Um, he's probably going to die anyway, so I'll just not let him be, but I'm going to... Okay, so he appears to be a legal trout, so we're good. So we're going to keep him right there, and let's see if we can get... See if we can get two. If not, I'm happy with the one. It looked tasty enough for him, so. Guys, that's awesome. I have never caught a trout before in my life. You guys, I think we're going to uh, call it a day. Hold on a second. <coughs> All right, you guys. Um, I'm going to call that a day. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to head on out of here. I got some stuff I got to take care of this afternoon. But we did catch one fish, which is going to be good. So I'm going to, we're going to do a cook and clean. It'll be a fairly easy one. It's not a giant fish, so. We're gonna, I'm super, super stoked though. Super, super stoked. Um, definitely gonna go out, have to come out again, but we're gonna go home, cook this guy up, and yeah, we'll see what goes good with a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Yeah, it's gonna be my breakfast because I haven't had breakfast yet. So, if you guys like this video and you wanna see more fly fishing videos in general or fly tying videos, um, trout fishing, bass fishing, what have you. Um, make sure you guys hit that like button. Uh, sorry, picking a cockerbur off me. Make sure you guys hit that like button. And if you aren't already subscribed, go ahead and consider hitting that subscribe button. Um, follow me over on Facebook and Instagram, you guys. And like I said before in the beginning of this video, I'm gonna link my Etsy shop down below. So if you guys wanna check out flies and as I get more proficient and I get more material and kind of branch out a little bit, there will be more available. So give that a check. You guys, check it out, and until next time, I'll see you out there.